So hello my Strictly Lovely, welcome to my channel. As you guys can see, I have three cards on the table. One has flipped over, two came out down front. Um, the reason for this card is because I want to know the energy that you have to fight off. What is the energy that you must show? And what is the energy that you must awaken? And um, the reason why is because this is an order from the steps to step away from deep in order. So what you have to fight off from the path, past in order to move forward is a man holding a heart. Okay, this is past. This man holding a heart has no love for you. Don't take it the wrong way. I'm sorry that I have to say this. I don't want to trigger no one, but I'm just honestly saying this don't necessarily have to be a man. This can be a woman, okay, if you are a masculine, okay? Put the energy where it fits. Someone is holding their heart from you. They should, they not going to show you no love. They're not going to be a part of that family. So in order to move forward, I'm not going to stay on this, but I'm just letting you know, in order to move forward, you must... What you have to show in this present moment, which is going to bring you victory for you to not feel defeated. You hear me? So you won't feel defeated from the person that is holding their love from you, that is not a part of your family, that can't help you, that can't invest in you, like their heart is elsewhere, okay? They holding their own heart. They not giving it out, period. So within this present moment, the energy upon you, what you need to take heed in, this energy right here is going to show you victory. This is going to make you feel like you are not defeated from people in your past who didn't show you love, which is the Crown Chakra Archangel um, URL. Uh, for you, to, for you to show present, I mean, I see yeah, to. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> For you to show victory within your present moment and not showing defeat, you already know what to do. And what you have to do is, since you know, I feel like, since I got it on my paper, you must awaken the senses of power. What is the senses of power? Um, your crown chakra, your insight, okay? Um... The sense to touch, the sense to feel, awaken it to a more powerful meaning. You know what I'm saying? It's just not the crown chakra. This is where you receive download. It's just not the hearing. This is where you, this is where you hear um, spirits. This is where you hear the unknown. It's just not a touch. It's just where you lay your hands at that you heal. Okay, you awaken the senses of power. Give your senses a powerful sense to feel, to sense. Whether it protect your crown chakra, okay? Because people that are holding their heart from the past will keep you stuck. They will send their attention. If you don't protect your crown chakra, that download will come into your crown chakra, okay? Into your knowings. And it will play a big part within your community. But you must fight this off. Show that you know to awaken the sense to, yeah, to awaken who people that you look directly in your eyes. Awaken is people who are asleep within your community. You've been awakening the souls. You've been to awaken their senses within your community, okay? And you know how powerful you are when it comes down to senses because you have the sense to heal, the sense to hear, the unknown. Like you have powerful senses that your community needs to be awakened, okay? So when you are doing this type of service for your people, Make sure you look them directly in their eyes. And your community going to show you much respect for that. Okay, this is the energy that you must fight, show, and awaken. And if you are doing that work, let's see what um, energy is coming for you. The temple path. 
the, the energy that will be coming to you that you know of is your temple path. Okay. Um, your temple path is your mind, body, and your soul. It is destined here on earth. It is you. It start with you. You are your community destiny. And so for, for, for some people within the past that trying to come back, you won't have to fight off. They also see you as their temple path. But they to enter this temple path, you must show love. You must have love and respect for yourself and others. You must have a positive, you know, you awaken certain senses by being already knowing exactly what you need to operate these senses on your temple path. So, that's your overall energy for this message. Let's get into our romantic love life really quick. Since we are dealing with the love of our community. All right. Romantic feelings. This clarifying man that's holding the heart. They know your feelings are real and worth exploring, but they play on your emotions. They they hold their heart from you. They know your feelings are real and exploring, and they play a, a big part on that. So, within this present moment, you are calling in your soulmates. What? Through a powerful sense of prayers, affirmation, visualization, they're going to bring you and the person you are calling into physical form. Within your community, yes, this is your soulmate that you are calling in to be a part of your community. See, you've been to awaken a lot of people with this mysterious calling for someone to actually come in and love you. And that's what I'm saying. Even though this person didn't give you that, you calling someone in and you know, you know that they're going to come to the temple path. Because you already made it clear what you need to have this community and to to, to be awakened. <laughs> okay, if you follow me, you follow me. Let's clarify this temple path. Okay, you been to you guys meant to get to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bones deepen within this temple path. So now they have entered your temple while other people are not able to get into your temple. That's why you must fight off the past to move forward to show victory as you are. You got your wings to show victory that your words, that your feelings are real and worth the strong. You calling it in, even though, though people couldn't give it to, to you. You show victory. You don't feel defeated because you know the knowing that you know, okay, of the senses. So within your community that you are awakening, that are watching you gravitate this soulmate, they all want to get to know you. And now everybody want to pour into you. So that's why you must protect your crown chakra. That's why you must protect your senses. That's why you must show victory and never feel defeated um what is coming to you is a, you expressing your love or someone is expressing their love they finna make the romantic gestures and come to you because this was worth waiting for and you also know divine time is at work in your love life so if this reading resonates, you must, and you want this love that's on this tab, if you want this community that's here is on this tab, if you want the um, power of your senses that's on this table, you must fight, show, and awaken. So, mwah, much love to you guys. Until next time, I will be back with another read. And make sure you guys bring a friend to bring a friend to get this inspiring, motivational word of today of love. All right, y'all, meet me on the other side.